Good morning, everyone. This is Dawn Marie with Creative DME Designs, and this right here is a ginormous coffee um, filter. Now, I just made a dye up of um, purple cabbage, and this is what I streamed it through the first time. Now, I have... Um, Concentrated it more so it will end up being a lot darker purple than this um, And in fact once I finish this I'll probably spray it with it uh, So you get to see what it will look like, but I did dry it on a Pizza pan which is why it looks like a bullseye and you can see the little holes Which is really cool now. I have gotten these from Starbucks before because I knew one of the managers uh, But I'm starting to run out of them <laughs> so I need and he's not there anymore so I need to be able to get some more, but um, I am going to make an array of pockets out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of all of it. So we're going to make it almost like a... And it is fully round. Okay, and now I'm going to make it into a quarter. Now what I like to do with these is I actually do like to sort of plot them out with my pencil so I know where they are. So I just draw the lines really lightly down them, not even really straight, but just so I know where they are, just in case I need to cut anything. I normally don't like to cut, but um, sometimes and when I do this, I just fold randomly. Um, I don't really have an idea in mind about, um, I've made two different pockets and they've come out looking different each and every time I've done it. So um, let's try, let's see. I want this on the inside mostly because that's got, see the little green marks? That's actually pieces of the, this is the side that caught all of the um, all of the cabbage on it, um, and I did wipe it off and rinse it very lightly because I didn't want to lose the color. Um, so that I will put on the inside. So let's see if we can get the inside line here. Now I need to make this. I think it's about six inches. Hey, so right now the whole thing is big by three inches. So what if we brought that down about three inches and then turn it over and do the same one on that side Let's see. And of course, nothing's gonna be perfect. It's a little off. I don't really care. So that gets us these little, it makes it like this. What does it look like if we do that? Okay, so what I did is I flipped it over so we have these these little wings here. Now, we can make it really simple and just flip this up to six inches. I have this cute little ladder here. Uh, ladder. Obviously. Well, it could be a ladder with all those little things. Uh, so that's six inches right there. So if we flip this over again and line it up, That could be six inches. Okay. So that would be six inches, but you can't open it. But I could cut at the top here, and it would make, ooh, you know what? I'm curious. Let's, 
pull this down like that, right? So it's actually making a couple of pockets. So there's one pocket here, one pocket here, one pocket there. Now we're losing the little flaps. Hmm. move it like this. I know, like I said, I'm just playing. And open it up. Let's see what it does if we open it up like this. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. That's a little small. I think this is the six inch mark. Yep. So, so it's this middle part right here that we need to fold into something to make that. Um, it's about five and a quarter. And this is a five and a half. Obviously, it's off. Um, but I can do it from the middle. If I go out... From the middle, two and a half. And from the middle here, two and a half. And then from the middle... Here, two and a half. I guess I could get two and a half and five. Okay. Five, one. From the middle. One and five. Now I'm going to draw a line just so I can see it. Now this is, I have tried to do this with my, um, my board uh, to put a crease in it, and you really can't. Uh, the only thing is, is once you get it done, the best way to get the creases held in it is to probably iron it. That's what I did last time. So, okay. Now, I, I'm just curious. Okay. So, if I cut from here to here...
enough. <coughs> I'm trying to videotape. Thank you, guys. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to cut on this line right here to that line. I am also going to do that on this side. Hopefully getting the right line because there's sort of one in the middle. And we'll see what, where that goes for that one. Okay. Hey! What happened? You guys have got to be nice to each other. We're only here one more day. Enough. Sorry, everybody. We have two extras this week. So, because that's like that, this is going to be the middle line where it's going to where it's going to fold. So, what I'm thinking is these are like angel wings. They could come down. Hmm. Enough, Sherman. So there is where that line is, which is actually a good point to know. Oh. that one in like that and I opened this up and now I'm going to put this one in like this okay it doesn't really make it even but that's okay so let's see if we do that and we flip it like this right And then, because of course we have this here too, but that would make it like that was the bottom, and you could tuck something in maybe. There we go, that's what I wanna do. And that actually leaves sort of a folio here. Okay, so that adds that folio. That's the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down so that's in half. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry, I'm really concentrating to try to figure this out. 
but it's just making a bunch of folds until you see the shape you want. Um, so that sort of makes, if you were to, that sort of makes a pocket. So I know you can't tell those are not even, but that's okay. Hey, hey, hey. So that is on that side. And if we then brought that up, right? Nope, because that's going to be the Okay, so figure this is, there's a pocket and there's a little pocket, right? It can only be, let's turn these this way. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. If we, Put it like that, right? So it's sort of like a little, how big is this end? So that end is taller than six inches. So what if we, you have to make sure that the end won't be taller than six inches. So if we do this, I think that makes it six inches, although it doesn't give the pretty design that I like. Yeah, it's a little smaller. Let's see if we do it an inch out here. I bet that's about an inch. How about that for eyeballing it? It's actually an inch and a quarter. That makes six inches there. So let's go out an inch and a quarter on the other side. And they should line up, right? So that can be a flip up, even though it's a diagonal flip up, right? But now lengthwise, it's way open. So let's see if we, we have to keep it a circle. I know. We bring that in this way, right? Even with that, that will take the length off of it, correct? Right? And because this can be a flip down, we have to remember it is, can only be as tall as six inches. which is an inch and a half, right? Or an inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter. So this still can be a flip up, but it can be a pocketed flip up if I put some glue there. Now, of course I could sew these. That actually would probably work better. But that could be a flip up with a pocket there and a pocket there. And it's still, I bet, too long there. But still, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking that it's going to end up being like a little origami thingy. Okay. 
So it would go in this way. And we have pockets here. Now let's see from the center. That's good. This edge is not good. So it would have to probably go like that. What if, could we do one of these where you flip it inside out? So to flip that, hey, how about that? I like that. So we just flipped that end inside out. Let's see if I can do it again. See how we have that line there already? I flipped it inside out, and that makes like a little cubby pocket there, right? And then we have the flip up here, and little cubby pockets there. And then this can go in to one of my books, which this is the, let's just test it with this. Does it fit? It sure does, and even if it's up a little, I don't care. There we go, we've made a funky pocket for this. <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do now is I am going to, um, go ahead and sign off and wish you guys to have a happy day and I will sign back on later, post a second video of um, whether I decide to sew this or whether I put glue on seams because I think probably a seam will go here and I can glue that seam. Um, I could probably glue that seam right there um, the thing is getting it back to where it is. <laughs> uh, is always fun. I could also put that up like that and glue that seam there, which would hold a lot of it together. And then that way, when you flip it down, it could actually nestle into that little flap. Ooh, I'm liking this. I Maybe I won't say. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I flipped that this way. So forget about it. I'm actually not going to log off right now. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put glue right literally along the very edge of this and flip this up and make sure that that glue holds that corner, holds that edge. And this one, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. So really what you're doing is you're just making sure that the structure you've made stays the way you want it by just doing the edge because you're not doing the, you're not actually doing the, um, you know, to stop anything. And yes, I see that that overlaps there. There may have to be a little bit of fidgeting with that one. So the other place I know I'm gonna need one is right along this, flip it up right along this one the diagonal here and yes it's going to look funny right now but it does end up being diagonal at that point to flip it down so I'm going to flip it down to make sure that it it keeps that structure and then I'm going to find the spot here and flip it down and find the where it's supposed to go so there that structure won't go anywhere and it will keep this pocket and this spot pocket um, from undoing. This is now keeping 
actually this whole structure together. Um, hmm. What do you think? Should I flip that out? I think I'm going to flip it out. And then flip it back in. Because I think that will... And if I do that, and then just do the bottom here. So this actually, you could put something small in here. And in fact, I may cut a V in this so that you could put something in this. That's a good idea. And you could put something in here if I put... So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to glue this section down to here and this section down to there. And yes, we're covering up some things, but this will help the structure hold together. Because once you get this the way you like it, it doesn't matter how you're folding it. The biggest thing is that you need to save the structure of the folded craziness that you've made. Now, so when you put it in to the folder, this is gonna be a flip up with a double, um, over under pocket there. And this will be able to go into here to hold it. Uh, now I could, I could glue that corner, this corner up here. Uh, or when I sew it in, because it is overlapping, it might actually go in. Well, I'll have to do that once I sew it in. I'll have to figure out if that gets overlapped at all because it might actually be better to be able to sort of put it down like that. The other thing with this kind of paper is that glue soaked in. You can see it actually soaked in on the edge all the way up to there. Now, at this point, I actually can pull it down a little bit and it will stop and then you just rub that edge um, and that's before the glue actually has taken. So it will only stay on that edge um, but you gotta you gotta remember sorry I had an itchy face there uh, you gotta remember to do that pull it down just a little bit to get some of the to keep it just on the edge so yeah there that's what you want to do okay so yeah these will go down and I may make something fancy here like a little like a little window shade which could look cute too. But I think what I'm gonna do now, honestly, is I am gonna sign off. And I am going to get things together to make this look prettier. And then I'll get back on and finish it off with you guys. Uh, now I may or may not at that point have made it a way to come into here, like whether I, um, you know, cut a circle here which could look cute that you could stuff things in that way. Um, the other way is you could put a diagonal here and you could fold it. You know what I mean? Like a diagonal here and you could fold it over. So I'm going to play with that for a little while and see what looks best. But I'm glad you guys got to see this short video of what I do with a ginormous coffee filter. Stuff like this can be done with smaller coffee filters too, but you can really play with the big ones and make a lot of extra folding fun. So thanks for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye.